Welcome back to Wasteland 2. I am currently underneath Darwin Village, exploring the strange laboratory full of all sorts of weird and disturbing things, including the Night Terror, which is some humanoid blobby kid thing monster with a clutching a doll in his hands, and it has 8,000 hit points, and all sorts of plague victims, and of course, I'm infected with the plague, and there's even an art experiment over in this hallway. Yeah, there's lots of stuff going on. So let's just continue to find out what's going on by talking and blowing up and hacking up everything. Let's talk with the Night Terror. If we can, can we? Not from outside. Okay, do I want to open up the door to let the Night Terror out? Sure. Oh. One, two, three? Can I hack it? <laughs> I can. Sure. What's the worst that could happen? You know, in those five seconds when Harper was trying to hack that, I suddenly decided I don't really want to do that. Or do I? What if it dies? I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know. Um, I'm gonna wait on that. Oh my god. 27%. What level is that lock? It's a level 7 lock. Ooh, this one's got a trap. Oh my god. That's like a level 9 explosive or something. 12%. Hold on. 12%. Oh no, it's a level 7 as well. Yeah, I guess her demolitions is a little bit low. Damn, this stuff is crazy hard. 77%? Yeah, it's not bad. Lipstick! And another human heart shoved in another box. Who did the lipstick go to? Blood Sausage Red. Your favorite color. Aw, but I can't use it. I want to use it on Takayuki. I think it'd look fabulous. It looks like it'd be easy to squeeze into this air vent. Maybe you can get the drop on Bill Paxton. Came over, man. Came over. Except you're the xenomorph in this scenario. What's on the other side of it, though? I don't know. There's something over here. That's not where I came from, is it? No, I came from over here. Huh. What was the chances on this again? 27%. There's a better chance to critically fail than there is to actually succeed. Fuck it. Let's do it. What's inside of you? I need to know! Don't critically fail, please. Come on, Harper, I believe in you. I believe in you. Oh. Oh, that wasn't worth it. 
I thought it'd be something cool. I mean, it's good, but... Okay. 27% or whatever that was, pretty bad. 12%, that's too far. I'm not doing that. Alright, let's see what's through here. Please don't take me out in front of a bunch of mutants. Okay. Oh. Run away! Is the alarm going to turn off? Or... Oh, I can actually hear it. <laughs> Let's wait until it turns off. Ooh, that might actually... I think this is the air filtration system. Yeah. Okay. So if I can get to that without initiating combat, we might be able to avoid killing any of them? Maybe? Will they have gone back? Or are they going to be near us? Okay, they went back. You're not running towards us, are you? What, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? The switch that controls the purification system is currently activated. Wait, it's currently activated? So it's... Oh, wait, do we have to flip it on and off? Or uh, off and on? Or is it broken? I want to wait until they turn around. Come on. That was my chance. That was my chance. After flipping the switch to open the purification system, the toxins begin filtering out of the air. The air smells cleaner already. Excellent. Except they're still... Oh, wait. They're not... They're not red anymore. I mean, they're still green. You know, <laughs> their skin is still green and they still look like zombies, but... They're pacified. Okay. Cool. Okay, now maybe if I let the Night Terror out, it will be purified or something? I don't know. I don't know if these mutants are ever going to go back to the way they were before. It's so dark. Man, if I didn't go through that backward, the uh, the back entrance there, I would have had to kill so many people. Ooh, I missed you. Hmm, tarot cards. <laughs> A power glove. Nintendo power glove. I want to see those tarot cards. A whole deck. And you're fucked no matter what you pick. Yay! This place is huge. High-tech security system in lockdown mode. Well, we can fix that. Just jack into this thing's USB port. Ooh. There's a computer. Let me guess, there's going to be a human heart inside of here. That looks like a bunch of fingers. 
It says shaft of prayer. Shaft? What? They look like fingers, but shaft makes it sound like it's a dick or something. I don't even know. What the hell? Lowers your coordination, but increases your chance to hit and critical hit chance. What? Who is that even for? I need to look exactly at what coordination does to see who, you know, what kind of a person that would actually be good for. Chia pet. Cracked dentures. What the hell? is some weird stuff. An ancient and mysterious cult of historians dedicated their time and worship to moody, half-broken PCs and video game consoles. They wished to appease their gods, hoping they would bring them telling visions of the past and future. Their strongest warriors would offer up their skilled thumbs to the ether in hopes that some secret truths would be revealed to them through their holy visions. <laughs> oh. Alright, what exactly does coordination do again? Helps avoid traps and attacks, pick locks, and improve aim. So it gives you a bonus to ranged hit chance. Okay. So it lowers your chance to hit by lowering your coordina coordination, but then it increases your chance to hit. And also your critical... I, I don't know, that's weird. I don't see myself ever using that. This pet isn't very lively. Hey, this guy has false, had false teeth. Yeah, but don't worry. He's dead now. Cabinet okay, for storing vials. Ooh, is there maybe a cure? <laughs> what? It's just labeled the cure for cancer. Um... Please excuse me if I'm a little bit suspicious. The almighty cure for cancer. I, I'm pretty sure that's sugar pills. We found Dr. Tideman's cure in the ruins of Darwin. Hope he's still alive when we bring it back to him. Uh, okay. I found the cure for cancer. Oh my god. It's another hard one. Yeah, this place is weird. It's kind of like a mix of low level and high level. I mean, the actual enemies themselves are not hard at all. But some of these things that you have to pick are really, really high level. Oh my god. Oh, what is that? Somehow still holding on to a few drops of power, the monitor on this Intel 8088 driven computer flickers with a faint image. <laughs> Wasteland's the original wasteland. Copyright 1986 to 1988 by Interplay Productions. If you know anything about computers, you might be able to get the disk out of the drive. Ooh, I do. <laughs> that requires what? Computer skill level 1 to get a disc out of the drive? Just use a paperclip? It's Wasteland! Yeah! Oh, that's gotta go into the, uh, the Ranger History Museum, right? It's gotta. An original box with disc and manual in mint condition. Something feels oddly familiar about the art. Hmm. Alright. 27%? Yeah, I'll take my chances again. 12%? No. 27? Yeah, sure. Don't critically fail, don't critically fail, don't critically fail, don't critically fail. Don't critically fail, don't critically fail, don't critically fail, don't critically fail! Critical success. 
<laughs> That's it? Just a medic pack? You know what? If this is anything to go if this is anything to go by, then I'm never coming back here. Cause even in this really hard stuff, I'm not finding amazing stuff, which tells me that, you know, sometime down the road when my people are much better skilled, if I come back here I'm just gonna find like a couple med bags and some ammo. I mean, screw it. Yeah, 12%, why not? She is going to explode, by the way. Any minute now. Yep. Well, trap's gone. Twenty seven percent chance, I'll take it. <laughs> Ooh. I fought the law and the law blew up my face. Everything that happened here is against nature. Everything. Indeed. Let's not move too fast. There might be more traps. Oh, what do you know? I think we've almost come full circle. And in fact, we have come full circle. Okay, so now that everything here is dealt with, uh, let's go try to release the Night Terror. Pretty good chances of succeeding. Best friends have candy? I would love candy. Hi. Oh, you look very handsome. Candy? Oh, you mean you want me to give you candy? I've never seen this dialogue box before. I don't think I have any candy. Wait, are you, are you asking for candy, or do you want to give us candy? I guess it's give, but the give is on the Night Terror side. I, I don't know, but I don't think I have any candy. I have a pet rock. Let's see if we have any candy. Depends what you consider candy. Traditional candy, or do you feed on human hearts? Because I found a lot of those. Do you want human hearts? You seem like you would enjoy them. 
Yummy, yummy candy. <laughs> Do you eat anything? Or is it actually human hearts that you consider candy? You want more candy? Um... Do you want a jar of pickles? And some meat? Candy is best! D does that mean it is candy and you like it, or that wasn't actually candy? I, what? I don't even know. Do you eat ammo? Do you want ammunition? Ew, all crows, no candy. I'm sorry. Okay. Can I, can I use my animal whisper skill on you? Are you an animal? No, you're not an animal. You're an alien. Wait, are you following us? Oh my god, it's following us. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, follow us, I'll give you all the candy I find. You know what? I, I For a split second there, I just reached for the run to exit button as if I'm playing this war of mine. No, this is a different game. You don't do that in this game. He's so cute, look at him. Let's see what Jan thinks of the Night Terror. She's probably gonna see him and go, Oh my god, what did you do? I cured mutants. Huh. Reminds me of, well, the ghouls. I guess we've just created some ghouls, sort of. Hi. Do you have any candy? Thank you for curing us. That robot. Once we saw where it was going, we tried to stop it. But it was too strong. We couldn't kill it before it opened the plague locker. As custodians of this place, we are sorry. It should not have happened. Wait, so it went specifically for the locker, trying to cause a plague. It was trying to hurt us. How did it know? Was it given orders to come here? It was obviously on a mission. That's disturbing. I think we were able to cure most of your friends. You are a tribute to your order, Rangers. The plague made us into mindless zombies. But you brought us back to our senses. Please, you must allow us to go on caring for this place in secret. We are all that keeps the world from receiving Finster's mad experiments. I fear what would have happened had this plague escaped into the wider world. For this service, let me mark one of our secret places on your map. Hmm, thank you. So what do you mean that you're the custodians of this place? We are the descendants of the researchers who once worked here, and are now its guardians. Finster's experiments cannot be shared again with man until reason has returned to the world. We are dedicated to keeping them safe and hidden until such time that men, as good as they are smart, rule the world. Only they will have the wisdom to use the powerful forces Finster created for the benefit of mankind. Until then, they must stay locked away. Uh, you won't tell anyone about us, will you? We cannot allow our presence to be known. If anyone asks, just say Darwin is uninhabitable. Please? Okay. Your secret is safe with us. Thank you. We are relieved that we will not have to kill you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I'm feeling the trust. What can you tell us about Finster? A brilliant man who became twisted and corrupt. 
After he placed his intelligence in that synthetic body, he was never the same. Something happened in a transfer. That's when it all went wrong. I guess that's it. So you don't have anything to say about the Night Terror? Just gonna be tagging along? Okay. Cool. Do I have any, like, dolls to give him? Because he's, he's got a doll. Do you like toys? Do you like toys? Oh, no. Just wants candy. Okay, got a bunch of levels up. Copy, Echo One. Congratulations, Echo One. Uh, Vargas, we seem to have a night terror following us. Please advise. Over. Okay, six points. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with demolition. That one's lagging behind. Vulture's cry. Right. I was gonna upgrade her safe cracking. I think because of this safe. I could. Yeah. Why not? Commit them points. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's do his mechanical repair. Much, much better chance. Candy is yummy. Ooh. Well, I already have a pulse rifle, but I'm really curious what this blacklist is. An old sheet of paper with red and black stains. The names Ace and Hellraiser have been crossed out with blood. Holy shit. And Hellraiser is presumed dead, right? I mean, we found the journal... We found Hellraiser, Hellraiser's journal next to the body of a dead person, which is almost certainly Hellraiser. And we know Ace died from a... from an android. Is it an android or a robot? I don't even remember the difference. I think android is like part human, or like part biological. It's like a fusion, I think. I can't remember whether it's an android or a human. Or, I mean, or a straight-up robot. Regardless, it looks like they came after Ace, and they came after Hellraiser. Are there any more names on the blacklist? This is certainly something Vargas would be interested in. So I've lockpicked everything down there, right? I've opened everything, I think. How's my quest doing? So I know I have the cure. But what about... This one. With the info that Jan gave us, Team Echo must decide if he'll keep the mutant's experiences, uh, existence a secret or tell General Vargas the truth. Okay, so yeah, I've completed all my quests for what I need to do here. I wonder if he'll be interested in the blacklist. Because nothing actually popped up for that. But that seems like something he'd really want to know. Alright, I think we're done here. <laughs> we, I like adventures! You're gonna be with me for the rest of the game, aren't you? I think I'm okay with that. Who are you? Pazepi Jorn? Near the lab entrance waits a young female mutant. She looks nervous, but steps forward as you draw near. Are you going to offer to join our party? Could I speak to you for a moment? Sure, go ahead. <clears throat> I hope you don't thank me forward, but, well, our elders here have always said that we must never leave the village, that people on the outside would hate us for our ugliness and kill us. But, well... You've proved to me that there is goodness and tolerance in the world beyond. And I've always wanted to see it, so... Yes, so... 
so I was wondering if I could come with you and see the world. It has been my fondest wish since I was a child looking at the picture books in the Darwin Library. I, I know I am young and sheltered, but I am not without my uses. I have a strong background in robotics and medicine, and I have participated in Darwin's civilian defense training class, so I know how to shoot a gun. Uh, but I'm also told that I have a pleasing contralto singing voice. Awesome. I could use a singer. I think that'd be more useful than Takayuki. No offense, Takayuki. We can't guarantee your safety, but if you want to come, you are welcome. Oh, thank you, Rangers. This is the greatest day of my life. There's just one thing. You must never tell anyone I am from Darwin. Our elders do not want anyone knowing that mutants live here, for fear they will come and kill us. If anyone asks, tell them I'm from, uh, Cincinnati. Uh, I don't actually know where that is, but it always seems such a romantic name. Cincinnati. You're the green person from Cincinnati. Okay. Takayuki, goodbye. I found somebody with a ranged weapon to replace Takayuki. I'm so happy. Now we have two green people in our party. Well, one officially in our party. The other dude is just tagging along. Looking for yummy heart candy. Nom nom. I guess, uh, Pazepi is my token green person, so I can say I'm not racist. So let's see what her stats are. Let's see what she's got going on. So it looks like she's actually an energy weapon person. Yes, she is. Ooh, interesting. She is actually a complete smartass, which is kind of funny because she didn't seem like a smartass at all. But, um, that's the one speech skill I don't have. I have hard ass. And I have kiss ass, but I don't have smart ass. And I wouldn't mind another person with energy weapons for when I come up against robots and stuff like that. The, the perception skill is unfortunately completely useless. Because Helen's already doing that. But I could abandon perception on Helen in favor of weapon smithing and snipers. Yeah, so I'd say she fits in pretty well. Although, she only does energy weapons. And energy weapons are really bad against certain things. Huh. Eh, she can't be more useless than Takayuki. What are her stats? High coordination, speed, and intelligence. Okay. Pretty strong, too. Low charisma. She's a smart ass with no charisma. And her weapon, laser carbine. Okay. It's not very good. In fact, I should probably just give you the pulse rifle, right? I'm pretty sure it's better. It's worth more money, which suggests it's better. Oh yeah, this thing is way better. Hmm. So the laser carbine has a lower armor threshold, which could potentially be more important. Because she's only going to be using the energy weapon, so she kind of needs to meet the armor threshold of pretty much anything. But her laser carbine is like a total ammo waster. Man, I'll give her the pulse rifle. Put the carbine in the other hand, I guess. <laughs> Two glowy laser guns. What the hell is this? This foul monster speaks in a hellish tongue. Furby. Okay. That's all she's got. Tactical vest, nice. Now, who received all of Takayuki's stuff? I think it was Harper. Yeah, Harper is really close to being overloaded. Super duper close. Okay. Um, I didn't spend the skill points, did I? Did I spend everybody's skill points? 
I don't remember. Well, if I did, there's nothing to spend it on now. Let's go to the special place. hear that hum emanating from it. Strength does not come from physical capacity. It comes from indomitable will. Said by some random person named Gandhi. Who's Gandhi? Never heard of him. It's carved into the immense, impossibly balanced stone. The words show no sign of wear. Uh... They show no signs of wear. Yes, they do. Look at that. The S in strength is like completely worn off. What are you smoking? Oh, hello. Thought you could hide back there, huh? Looks like we've gained a level. Copy, Echo One. Congratulations, Echo. Three points. Can't do anything with that. Well, I could upgrade my toaster repair skill, but nah. It's actually really hard to pick. What? It's a PDA. Increases mechanical repair and computer science. Ooh, that is really good. That's really, really good, actually. Because that's something that you don't need to wear. You know, the, the minus coordination is completely irrelevant. Because that's something you're not going to wear just in general. That's something you're going to put on when you need to pass a skill check. So I can use that situationally very well. That is awesome. That goes to Harper, of course. Who is now overburdened. Okay. Oh, he's got the freaking law rocket. Let's dump that off on somebody else. I'm helping, I'm helping, I'm helping, we're friends! Can I buy human hearts to give him? I wonder if that does anything to give him food. Like, if you give him a hundred human hearts or something, he transforms into a ultra night terror? I don't know. Oh, if you have a friendly robot following you, following you, you can extend his life by using mechanical repair to fix him up. Oh, so I could have repaired Vax after he got hurt. Okay, good to know. Let's see what... Okay, so we've just come back from Darwin Village. We've just come back from Darwin Village. And I'm sure we told everybody as we're going, like, Hey, we're going to Darwin Village. We'll be back soon. Come look for us if we don't come back within a week. And we're coming back with... A green woman from Cincinnati. And a humanoid alien creature that is very happy and clutches a doll and, well, looks like that. I'm sure nobody will suspect a thing. And we're just going to say, yeah, we didn't find anybody at Darwin Village. We just found these green people along the way.
Is everything in the normal world as grand as this? Nope. Yeah, I guess if you saw this for the first time, you'd be pretty damn surprised, huh? Okay. Uh, you know, I was gonna go talk to Vargas, but I suppose we should probably go give the doc his cure for cancer first. It's a little bit more pressing. <laughs> Nobody's commented upon the fact that I have the night terror following me. Gonna have to up the dose. Nope, you're fine. Okay, guess what, doctor? We found a cancer cure in Darwin's village. Do you want it? Sure, why not? If it kills me, that'll be a blessing. If it doesn't, I'm no worse off than I am now. Here, something for your travel expenses. You've obviously got an interest in medicine, so it'll help you out. Can't believe you found the place. Seriously though, thank you. If this thing works, I'll kiss you on the mouth. Come talk to me next time you're in Ranger Citadel. I should be able to tell you whether this is the real thing by then. Yeah, I'm kind of doubtful that something that is literally labeled cure for cancer is actually the cure for cancer. Because, you know, cancer is actually a, a very general term for a bunch of different things that can manifest in many different ways. There, there is there is no the cure for cancer. It just doesn't work like that. Okay, we need to... I'm, I'm going to make sure I keep my word and that nobody thinks there's anybody there. The place was hardly there. Uninhabitable. Well, at least you got one good thing out of it. Thanks. I heard what you said, Echo One. I appreciate you keeping Darwin's secret. No problem. Now, Night Terror, don't go touching this explosive warhead, okay? It's not candy. Let's see if we can give him the Wasteland. Yes, I knew we could. We found this box with floppy disks that says Wasteland on the front. Now, what do we have here? Very strange. Another Ranger team found an item with a very similar image on it a long ago. Uh, a long ago. On it long ago. It was some kind of badge or pin. Said member. Wasteland Fan Club. In fact, I still have it here. I'll let you take it out in the field if you'll leave the disks here with me to study. Sure. Wonderful. I'll dig up a functioning computer to boot it up. Perhaps Captain Murcaptain will help me. Well, here's what I promised you. Come back with me, uh, check, with, check back with me later. We might learn something interesting. Wouldn't it be funny if there was like... You know what? You know what actually wouldn't surprise me? Is if perhaps there's like an emulator that runs during the game, and you can actually play the original Wasteland through an emulator within Wasteland. That would be pretty cool. Wasteland Fan Club. <laughs> Plus one kiss ass. <laughs> Alright, well that's for Theodore, right? He does have kiss ass, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Uh, what does he currently have? Plus one leadership. Hmm... Well, leadership is going to benef benefit my team all the time. Whereas Kiss Ass will maybe benefit me rarely. So I'm going to keep the leadership buff on. Let's see if I have anything new to tell Sagara. Oh, you have new map data for me? Let me see it. Uh, you were right about Darwin. Completely abandoned. Uninhabitable. Thanks. I'll make a note of it on my maps. Let's go talk to Vargi. Welcome back, Echo. Glad you got that trash Bachowski back in the brig where he belongs. Might be a little vindictive, but I'm sure as hell looking forward to his sentencing. <laughs> I 
We had a look around Darwin Village after we found the robot. It's deserted, sir. Uninhabitable. I figured as much. Thank you, Rangers. That's it? Oh, look at that. That's really cool. Angela and Varkas just talking together on their own. It's little details like that that kind of make the world, you know? Make it feel believable. Okay, that finished the quests. Uh, okay, so he's not interested in the blacklist? Seems kind of weird. You're not interested in the blacklist at all? Can I type it in? Blacklist? No? Hmm. Let's see if there's anything new with Mer Captain. Hmm, nothing new. And, yep, indeed, nothing new. Okay, well, I'm gonna sell a bunch of stuff and check their weapons and whatnot, so while I do that management, I will be right back. Okay, well, I sold all my junk. Well, except the super special junk that I don't want to get rid of. Like the pet rock and a couple other things like the power glove and the lipstick. Yeah, I think I'll keep that. But I took a look at the weapons here, and unfortunately this list is getting pretty cluttered up, because it includes all the stuff that I've sold him. And it doesn't seem to ever go away. But it doesn't look like they've gotten any higher tier weapons, so there's nothing to buy. Except, since my little night terror humanoid monster thing seems to like eating human body parts, well, let's buy all the human body parts I can. Gotta take care of my little night there. Oh, how you doing? How you doing? Toad eye? Nah, that's gross. It's gotta be human eyes. Thank you. Candy. Mmm. Candy! I love you, night terror. You're not really a night terror. You're just terribly cute. Oh. I think that's it. So I've spoken with Vargas, sorted my stuff. Sold all my things. Oh, wait a minute. Um I think I need to recruit um what's her name? Pazeppi. Yeah, I should probably officially recruit her. Your cook keeps looking at me. You you don't eat mutants here, do you? No. No. We found a possible recruit. Her name is Pazeppi. She's a mutant. From Cincinnati. A mutant? Here in the Citadel? I... Well... Alright. It's not my place to judge. As long as she's smart enough to take orders, we'll take her. So what type of enlistment bonus would you prefer? Merit. And we gotta level up. Copy, Echo One. Congratulations, Echo One. <laughs> he's, he's like a hundred feet away and I just radioed him. Six, nice. Let's do weapon smithing. Okay, we are officially ready to go uh Well that's a good question. Go where? I suppose we need to continue on the main quest now. That is basically all we have left, other than these kind of little side missions. Which means I need to find the way through the radiation cloud, which means I need to find the radio signal that will give me the directions on where that is, which means... I think I need to go down here. Well, I need to explore in general, but... 
I think I need to go down here. I know I need to go somewhere and listen for the radio signal. I think it was down here, but I don't remember why I think that. But we'll figure it out. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.